Michael Elias left CERN in November 2017. He didn't go far, in geographical terms that is, as he moved across the border to France to the saint Genis Techno Park, where he set up his brand new company, which operates in the field of advanced instruments and control systems, particularly for electric cars. Whilst at CERN, Michael had a five-year staff contract working on radio frequency devices for the Isolde facility. Towards the end of his contract, and together with some friends, he decided it would be a great idea to build an electric car. We started by reinventing everything, so every subsystem in a car we wanted to make from scratch. We wanted to develop our charging system, we wanted to develop our motor inverters, uh, DC DC converters, control systems. We just wanted to do everything to see how it's done, whether, whether it could be better or not. So we bought a lot of different parts and uh, tried different things and parts from Prius and parts from Tesla and everything. And at the end we found out that, uh, that it's better to actually develop these parts than actually work on the car. Along with Axel, a French CERN alumnus currently working on software development, and Anders, another former CERN colleague from Norway, who's taking care of the design and assembly of the complex circuits and electronics, Michael has set up a laboratory where they can develop their creative ideas and test innovative, high-tech solutions directly on electric cars. So what is remarkable about what they do? Each charger module they make works at 25 kilowatts, 97% efficiency using silicon carbide switching technology. This allows them to design chargers which work at much higher frequencies while generating fewer losses, which translates into a much more compact charger design. And you, if you have a very efficient and compact charger, you can install more modules in one system, resulting in more power. So our, our motivation to, to create this company was uh, pretty much the excitement in technology and that was uh, electric mobility at that time. So pretty much uh, the motivation was to, to make our own car, to really see how difficult it could be. I mean, uh, car, electric cars were pretty bad back then, so we were thinking maybe we can make our own on an, based on an old car, make it better. Thanks to the skills and talents which are developed at CERN, Michael and his colleagues have just hired another former colleague to join them in their endeavour. What's amazing about CERN is that there is just so many great people from so many, so many different expertise and different levels and knowledge. And you can, this, this is what I really like about CERN, that it just puts together a lot of, a lot of bright people. And some of these people are are very relevant to us these days because some of these people I can now call my new colleagues. So it's starting, uh, it's, so it's actually starting to look like a new CERN.